tutorial is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello, this is Stefan Holzoy for creativedojo.net. I will show you how you can create this DNA strand using After Effects and Trapcode Tau. So let's start. First we create a new composition. Take whatever size you need. I took full HD, 30 frame rate, square pixels. Hit OK. Then go to Layer, New, Solid. Name it Tau because that's where we apply our tau effect. Go into effect, track code, tau. The custom setting of uh, track code tau is a circle. To change this, we go into the path generator and shape and select line. Now, because we want our pills inside the double helix um, to be rendered as circles, we go into segment and change extrude angon to repeat sphere. So we change the segments to 31 or around 30, it's not that much of a deal. Um, the sides to around 70 and we change the overall size to 50. Now we change the size x, y and z. It's 10 for x, we double the y size to 200 and lower z to 10. Well, that looks awkward because we didn't change the orient reference axis to y. To get our inner rotation, um, we raise twist z to 400. Now we are going to the tricky part. Um, we use the repeater to create our outer path. Um, first repeater, one, and keep symmetric doubler checked. Change the work position x to zero, so we get an exact copy of what we did before. Now we need to make our individual strands a bit longer and um, um, so they can form a path after we did. Um, we go to segment size x, this will be 250. Um, segment size y is 30 and z will be a huge number 1350. So we created this path um, changing the segment sizes. Now we need to rotate it. Um, to create the DNA strand. Um, that will be achieved um, with segment position and the segment, segment position factor. Um, we change segment position x to minus 360 and the segment position y to 6000. Um, now it looks a little bit distorted. This is because of the factor I mentioned before. We need to change it to 1.125. Before we dive into fractal displacement and lighting and such, uh, we will create a new camera. Um, we just want to see what we are doing. Um, and we zoom in a bit. So now we go to fractal displacement. Um, we change the fractal type to multi-smooth ridge and um, the space in which we transform our DNA strand from world to segment. We change space to segment because we want to transform each individual segment, not the whole world. We change the amplitude to 3, the frequency to 50, and we raise the complexity to 9 and the oct scale to 4.5. I also changed the individual amp and frequency. Um, I changed uh, amp z to 140. Um, I just thought it looked a bit better. Um, feel free to experiment with this whole settings because this is where your look starts. Let's change the color and lighting. For that we go to material and lighting. Um, I took a 
gray blue something like that um, yes I changed the ambient from 100 to 25 raise the diffuse to 100 diffuse softness stays as it is specular will raise to 200 and the metal effect uh, will go to 90. The diffuse holdout will be changed to 10 from 30. To get this crystalline look, um, I used image based lighting. I used dark industrial. Um, expose environment goes to 5. Reflection strength is 3. And diffuse strength is 45. It's very dark at the moment, but we will change that with our adjustment layers I'm showing you later. Now we go into rendering and we only change the dither from 2 to 3 and we change the ambient occlusion. The ambient occlusion intensity will be 10, the radius will be 35 the ambient occlusion lift will be 0 0.48 and the ambient occlusion scale will be 0 0.7. Before we get started with the last part and animating and getting the final look, let's take a quick moment to thank our sponsors over at Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional online website, store or portfolio. They have over 20 highly customizable and professionally designed templates. With their click and drag interface, adding content is a breeze. And starting at just $8 a month, you can get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. You can start your free trial of Squarespace by going to squarespace.com. Now, when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the promo code DOJO to get 10% off the life of your order and support the DOJO. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website. For the final look, let's create a new adjustment layer. Name it Double Glow. And go to Effect, Stylize, Glow. The first glow will have a threshold of 7.1. The radius will be 0 0.5. And the glow intensity will be 1.3. We also change the, the glow operation from add to screen. Now we duplicate our glow and change the threshold to zero. Radius will be changed to 70 and the glow intensity will be 0 0.2. Change the glow operation to add. If you like, you could create another adjustment layer for the cell shading look. Uh, you name it Find Edges. Oops, Find Edges. Go to Effect, Stylize and Find Edges. Um, the right value depends on what you want to achieve, but I'm usually around 60 and 90. Um, 75 is always a good value too. You could zoom in and find out to see if it matches your the look you want to create um, i always like this cell shading look um, this is a little bit too much in my opinion 85 yeah this is nice let's take another look at our dna sample um, i'll show you now how you can create the intro transition and the rotation around its own axis um, it's not that hard and remember we are only scratching the surface of what Tau can achieve. Um, I didn't even use taper size or anything of the other options that are available. I just realized my composition is really long. Um, let's change it from 5 minutes to like 10 seconds. And now we are going to rotate it around itself. So now we have our first keyframe and our last will be 359. 
Um, the 359 is because um, one circle is 360 degrees and our zero counts as one. So if you now um, want to rotate an infinite loop, um, this is the value you have to put in. As you can see, we got this rotation. Um, and yeah, um, if we would watch the whole scene, it would rotate around itself infinitely. Um, for the first part, I'll show you now how you can um, use the random values of uh, the segment settings. We go to segment, randomness, and um, all I did is playing around with random position and scale. Um, remember, if you if you are going back to zero, you are always ending with your um, origin animation and modeling. So if I'm raising this to 150, or even higher, let's say 500, um, you will see it will wrap around. Um, the near right gets to zero again. Yeah, that's all the magic about creating a DNA strand in Trapcode Tau and After Effects. I'm Stefan Holzer for CreativeDojo.net and thanks for watching.